I'm just getting is like, I'm getting you have mad love for this person because you know when you come to them or talk to them, like there's never any bullshit. Like they're always, or they don't, I just heard like they don't sugarcoat it. Okay, like this person can be very blunt or they just say, like, they say it how it is, you know what I mean? And I feel like you have respect for that, especially if you have, like, these catfish, these copycat, these fake energies around you. I just heard, like, it's a breath of fresh air, where, like, it's very refreshing to have somebody just be able to say it how it is or say like it is, okay? <laughs> everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel thank you so much for joining me here in today's video and in another reading i'm super excited for today's reading y'all where are all my wizard of Fa wizard of oz fans at excuse me bless yes yeah, so this download that i received for somebody out there today is surrounding the wizard of oz okay so I was hearing follow wherever there's growth, but I heard that to the tune of follow the yellow brick road. So I was hearing follow wherever there's growth, follow wherever there's growth, okay? <laughs> so I thought that was super cute, and I know this is definitely going to resonate for somebody out there. I am definitely a fan of The Wizard of Oz as well. So shout out, let me know in the comments below if you are a fan of that as well. So thank you guys so much for being here with me now and always, okay, for supporting me, my channel, well, our channel, all of that good stuff. Y'all, I'm super excited about um, this deck. I was feeling guided to pull this deck out because I actually created um, like a yellow brick road card for this deck a long, long time ago. So I figured let's go ahead and pull it out and see if, you know, that card does come out or not. If not, it's all good. If so, it's just going to be further confirmation, okay? But yes, bless. Thank you guys so much for being here with me, for your views, your likes, comments, shares. Okay, don't forget to like or subscribe if you feel like you're a vibe with me, my energy, okay, my channel, well, excuse me, our channel, I keep saying my channel, but we are a soul tribe, you know what I mean? So this is really our channel, so don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and even the notification bell, thank you so much. So let's go ahead and get into it. What is the viewer's current energy when seeing this? Okay, this is a timeless message. So whenever you see it, it'll resonate. And again, if it does resonate, I would truly appreciate if you could like and subscribe. So angels, spirit guides, ancestors, what is the viewer's current energy at this time? Please and thank you. getting your current vibe right now so let's actually just see what maybe the challenge is what's the challenge for the viewer going on right now that's guided here what might be a challenge that they're facing at this time thank you okay yeah so we'll start it with the challenge and then we'll get your uh your current energy in a second Ooh. okay we have love and awakening in reverse okay so this is definitely a challenge y'all so i'm really getting like I just heard falling out of love. Okay, so somebody could be awakening to how uh, some sort of connection, okay? This doesn't have to be like just straight up romantic. Like I'm also getting a partnership in general. So this could be like a business work type of partnership, a friendship, okay, where you do something together. But even then, this is just, I feel like there's a challenge of you awakening to the fact of either you don't have as much love for somebody as you used to or flip the roles you know however it resonates that somebody in your energy is awakening to the fact like there isn't as much love anymore okay like i'm feeling a loss of love um and like i said this doesn't just have to be romantic but i'm getting like oh maybe there's been a falling out with a friend Maybe there's been a falling out with a business partner, okay? There's something going on where it's very challenging. So we're going to get into it soon. But I feel like somebody's having issues awakening to either awakening to the fact that there's not a lot of love or there's been a loss of love 
or somebody has been awakening to the fact that um, some sort of love or appreciation has been lost. Okay, so what's the advice for the viewer? What's the advice for the viewer in regards to this? Yeah, so because even then, how I heard the follow wherever there's growth, I feel like whatever partnership or connection this is, it's like there's there's no growth, there's no love, you know what I mean? The love isn't growing or the appreciation, the effort, whatever it is that, you know, however it resonates for you, like it's not being reciprocated. What's the advice, please? For the viewer geez these cards are <laughs> stubborn today okay and then now i say it okay Ooh, okay so we got a couple let's see so we have so we have snap out of it in reverse with illusion, smoke and mirrors. So yeah, I feel like somebody hasn't snapped out of some sort of illusion or some sort of smoke and mirrors situation yet. And that's why it's like somebody needs to awaken to what they need to snap out of, okay? The other card we have was we will be together again. I'll do everything I can, but in reverse. So again, maybe somebody... Um, if this involves some sort of reconciliation, it's like, you know, somebody wants to be together, whether it's you or this other person, but maybe it's not happening. Maybe that's what somebody needs to snap out of is the fact that unfortunately you and another person or a group, you know, like I said, whether this is love, a friendship or a, um, some sort of like work business partnership, it's like, I feel like, yeah, it's not meant to be it's not working out for a reason there's no growth there's no success for a reason so it's like um kind of waking up to that and understanding why okay because yeah so we have i'm about to do something crazy but in reverse so what i'm just getting is i feel like either somebody already did something crazy and that kind of caused an illusion or it's like somebody's not trying to do something crazy like it's kind of a mutual thing or they're trying to be i just heard polite like i feel like you or somebody is trying to be polite about the fact that you know somebody needs to snap out of it or see something or needs to understand that like it's not happening okay um like i just heard yeah stop trying to make fetch happen so i feel like somebody's trying to you know not do something crazy but yeah, to be continued, okay? Um, it Free will is very much a thing in this situation. So what's a potential future outcome for this? What's the potential future outcome for this situation? I just yeah I'm just getting like somebody's not trying to do something crazy like somebody's not trying to act out or act up yeah so a potential future outcome though we have is this is like my name tag one hi my name is so I very much feel like a potential future outcome is somebody's kind of like trying to start over uh like have a fresh start whether that's even though I'm getting like Again, how I said, oh, we will be together again, but it's in reverse. So I feel like, oh, yeah, it's not going to happen. I do feel like a potential future outcome is there could be a fresh start if that's what you and or this person is wanting, if that's what both of you are wanting. Because again, like a fresh start, it's like shaking hands or like kind of... Um, like dusting the past pain or whatever happened in the past, like trying to dust it or move it under the rug, you know what I mean? To kind of have a fresh start and just be like... Obviously, you guys know there was beef or there was issues, but it's like you're trying to start over. You're trying to start um, or turn over a new leaf and just trying to be like, hi, you know, like my name is and acting as if you're meeting this person again for the first time. And even if not, a potential future outcome is, again, if something isn't going to happen anymore and you know for a fact you don't want to be with this person again, then it's like, OK, yeah, your potential future outcome is you're going to meet somebody new. Um, this could definitely involve some sort of runner chaser dynamic, okay? 
I feel like a potential future outcome is somebody is going to run away from a connection, a friendship, a partnership or business uh, partnership of some kind. So there is somebody like maybe one was trying to run, the other was trying to uh, chase. But let's see, why couldn't it have been someone else? I wasn't ready for you. So yeah, dang, somebody wasn't ready for something, for some sort of connection. But yeah, so let's see with you, your current energy, we have, yeah, I got mad love for you. Okay, so this is what I mean. So you, you have mad love for somebody, you love somebody, and that's for a fact, you know what I mean? And I feel like it's either um, you that you're trying to have this fresh start with somebody that feels like they don't want to be, you know, or get back together with you, or they're trying to say like, oh, it's never going to happen, but it's like you have a lot of love for them. Or it's like, yeah, you have your eye on someone new and it's like there's some sort of runner chaser dynamic going on with that. So we do have a bunch of hocus pocus. So yeah, there could be, again, some rose colored glasses again with the illusions. I feel like you're waking up though to the illusions and the, um, you know, possibly if there's somebody sending evil eye magic spell work okay there's just a lot of interferences going on or manipulation i feel that's going on and i feel like maybe you haven't awakened to that oh yeah maybe somebody needs to awaken to the fact that there's like a love spell involved like somebody's been put under a spell or some sort of love spell and it's like you need to snap out of that spell so how are you going to do that you know when i realized i love you is also when i realized i hurt you oh my goodness so yeah, and clarity with that. So exactly, I feel like you're either, either you already gained clarity of that you realized you love somebody, but you realize that when you hurt them at the same time. And maybe that's why this person, I just heard though, Taylor Swift, we are never getting back together. So maybe that's why this person, it's like, I just heard again, hurt beyond repair. So somebody feels like, it's just the love is lost, something's been hurt, like you can't go back or you can't come back from that type of thing. And if that hasn't already been recognized or realized, then it's like that is what's going to be recognized or realized soon with how somebody is getting this clarity. The last card though we have is a new hobby or project. Ooh, so okay, maybe viewer, you are definitely taking up a new hobby. I just heard a passion project. Um, or maybe you're just working on a new project in general, taking on a new venture, trying something new. It's like you're opening your, expanding your horizons, I mean, to see what, you know, new hobbies or projects could bring you growth. Because, yeah, at the bottom of the deck, I feel like what you don't know, viewer, is either you are dealing with a catfish, a copycat, you know, a karmic. And maybe also that's well, that, that's why as well, excuse me, that this person needs to understand that, Again, it's it's not going to you're not going to be together with this person again because they're a catfish, they're a copycat, a fake. Maybe um if it's not the other person, then again, maybe you were trying to catfish somebody and again, you hurt this person and now this person doesn't want anything to do with a connection moving forward. But again, take it as it resonates and um yeah, I feel like whoever again, whoever is in this catfish energy, it's like they want to be with whoever forever. So it's like either you want to be with someone forever or this person that was a catfish, they want to be with you forever, but they need to understand that somebody was hurt, okay? So somebody was hurt and that needs to be respected so that way somebody can heal from whatever was done. Yeah, so somebody could have missed out on an opportunity or was rejected with a happily ever after or having um, just a happy home, happy family. Yeah, again, I saw three of cups. So yeah, reconciliation. So let's go ahead and get into this a little bit deeper. Angel, spirit guides, ancestors. Let me get one more. Yeah, somebody could definitely have a crush or they need to apologize. But why is love and awakening... Um, in reverse i just started to hear the my endless love song so let me know in the comments if that resonates why is love and awakening in reverse please and thank you
Okay, so we have the Ten of Wands, Eight of Cups, and Queen of Cups. Yeah, there definitely could have been a uh, heavy, burdensome, painful ending. Somebody walked away from a Queen of Cups. So this is definitely, okay, it could be a Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces, but doesn't have to be. Somebody could have walked away from, you know, their wife, their baby mama, um, a girlfriend, something like that, okay? So there was definitely some sort of detachment. Somebody walked away. Let's see. Something concluded, okay? Something concluded when somebody walked away. So it could have been whenever a baby mama or baby daddy walked away or something like that. Like, again, someone detached. Yeah, and they could have closed out the cycle, closed out the connection or whatever it is for a passionate new beginning, okay? Yeah, whether it's just a new beginning, a new person, a new business, a new hobby, a new project, whatever it is. It's like somebody's needing to see that, again, they're needing to awaken to the fact that there wasn't love, there wasn't growth, there wasn't success. Let's see. Oof. Yeah, again, with the world, completion, Queen of Wands, yeah, and Justice. Wow, yeah, with the Ace of Cups. Okay, so I definitely feel like with the world, let me see, y'all. I'm just trying to be able to get you guys to see these cards. I just definitely feel like with the world, it's like something has definitely completed and there's a new beginning. So where there's one door closing, there's a, a, a new door opening, okay? Um, somebody could also be trying to make or take more positive changes in their life to live a healthier, more balanced lifestyle. That could definitely be an Aries Leo Sagittarius or an Aries Leo Sagittarius is involved, but doesn't have to be as well as a Libra, but again, doesn't have to be. I do feel like... Um, Justice is playing out, okay? Justice, karma is playing out in some way, and it could be for whoever is in this Queen of Wands energy because maybe somebody walked away from a Queen of Cups for a Queen of Wands or maybe something ended with the Queen of Wands in order to be with this Queen of Cups and then somebody realized, okay, that's not really what I wanted. So either way, there was some sort of imbalance, and that's why Justice is here to bring back balance into a situation and again, with the Ace of Cups, it could definitely be with a romantic love situation because with the two doves here, I always get like a Two of Cups vibes with the sun. So I feel like somebody somebody is, I feel, starting to awaken to the fact of what or who their true love, their perfect match is, and it's being illuminated. Again, you are gaining clarity on this new beginning in love that you want, or just in general, this new beginning of what's going to make you emotionally fulfilled in your life, like with your job, with a business, with a new hobby, okay, whatever it is you're working on. Can I just get a little bit more on this justice? Why is justice here? Because I want to see like, what happened? You know what I mean? Maybe somebody knows like they're not trying, exactly, maybe somebody knows they're not trying to do something crazy because they know like if, if they do something crazy, like it's just going to karma, you know what I mean? Consequences to your decisions and actions. Why is justice here? Oh man. Okay. All right, I'm not going to take the ones that fell, but five of swords, nine of swords, five of wands, three of pentacles. Yeah, three of coins. Yeah, so there's definitely still, though, yeah, jealousy, envy, anxiety, worry, sleepless nights, competition, not seeing eye to eye. And again, with the three of pentacles, this is definitely some sort of partnership, again, with it's either love friendship um or business related yeah again somebody could have been betrayed with the ten of swords there could have been deception or betrayal with a king of um coins taurus virgo capricorn either way somebody is wealthy or could definitely be a business um person and again with this uh coin right here it's like you're exactly and the king of swords it's like you're gaining clarity on this pentacle that's going to bring you the growth the wealth and the success that you're desiring but again, with the Seven of Swords, there was some sort of lying, cheating, stealing, deception that was involved. And I feel like you're still gaining clarity on that. I just heard stealing ideas. So somebody could have been stealing ideas and claiming them as their own, whether it's like 
um, getting intellectual property or something else, okay? But yeah, so we have the Four of Coins to clarify the justice, and this is in limbo. So I do feel like somebody could have been greedy. Okay, yeah, so somebody could have been greedy with their coins, their, or even if it's not coins, it's like their resources, their time, money, energy, whatever it is that they had, okay? They were greedy or they were holding on to whatever and it caused some sort of imbalance. So now there has to be, again, balance brought back into the situation. Okay, so let's see about this potential future outcome. Maybe that's also why some, yeah, I just cut the deck at the tower. Maybe that's why somebody's having a tower moment because it's like there was an illusion that, oh, somebody wasn't taking the money. Somebody wasn't taking the time. Somebody wasn't taking resources, but in reality, they really were. So, and I feel like that's like a big, yeah, life is never the same. After this awakening, after this realization and this clarity, it's gonna be very clear of like, Okay, wow, you can't unsee, unhear it, whatever. 2020 could resonate as well. But can you tell me more about this potential future outcome with this fresh start? There could be a fresh start, like if there already was a runner chaser dynamic, maybe there is going to be a fresh start with that. It doesn't have to be with the same person that, you know, was being deceptive, but... This could have been a past thing or something. Yeah, so maybe even someone from your past you're, start, you're trying to start over with. So let's see, why is this fresh start here? Yeah, there's a fresh start at play because somebody wants their happily ever after. Somebody wants their whole, you know what I mean? That happy, like just feeling emotionally fulfilled and satisfied, having the whole, like I always see this as my Disney card, as like my having it all as far as like, you know, kind of the white picket fence of like having the home, having the family, having the kids, the pets, like everything, because that's usually a lot of people's dream is to have that whole happy family bit, you know what I mean? So yeah, I feel like somebody's trying to start over to be able to have what is going to bring them their happily ever after their fairy tale. Yeah, exactly. Their wish fulfillment. What again, what's going to make them happy? What's going to make them fulfilled in life? Okay, so let's get a little bit more on your energy. Well, actually, let's see what would make somebody receive this 10 of cups? Like what is this 10 of cups for somebody? Thank you. Okay, so in order to have this 10 of cups, Okay, so there was a final decision, judgment. So there was a final decision that was made in regards to, again, with the Four of Cups, some sort of missed opportunity or rejection. So I feel like, so, okay, maybe that's even why justice is here because maybe in the past, somebody made a final decision to miss out on some sort of opportunity. They rejected on moving forward with taking some sort of opportunity and whatever, you know, was actually chosen, like how the, so what I'm getting is somebody could have chose the catfish over, you know, the actual divine counterpart or the person that would have been able to create this happily ever after, you know what I mean? So I feel like that's kind of where the um, injustice may have taken place is like somebody made a decision, a final choice, but they chose, I don't wanna say the wrong, you know, one, because that's not really what I'm getting. It's just, I feel like somebody's starting to realize now, or maybe with this reading, somebody's realizing how their final decision kind of made them miss out or miss out on an opportunity that would have been able to bring them the 10 of cups that they were looking for. Definitely somebody could be crying or multiple people are crying, okay? Um, I also feel like that could be why somebody is receiving karma or somebody is being judged because again, they missed out on the opportunity that they were supposed to take or they were rejected. But even then, rejection is for your protection. So if you personally were rejected from someone or something, then trust that that wasn't your happily ever after. You know what I mean? That wasn't the person that you were supposed to be with. So... I feel like, yeah, and maybe that's kind of what the runner or chaser dynamic was, is like somebody was trying to um, go after whoever they wanted, but then that person like confirmation. 
Sorry about that, guys. I had to let that ring for a second, but that is definitely confirmation. Um, so what I'm also just getting to is um, I feel like somebody definitely wants to call. Somebody wants to reach out. Okay. But let's see at the bottom of the deck. Yeah, again, five of wands. Yeah, so somebody could have been put in competition. Like it was either one lover or the other lover, one business partner or the other business partner, one friend or the other friend. There was something where like people weren't seeing eye to eye, okay? And I feel like somebody made a final decision based off of, you know, for the wrong reasons. Whatever the final decision that was made, it wasn't made for the right reasons. And I feel like that's why it led to some sort of pain or rejection or missed opportunity, okay? Or even then, like, because, yeah, if somebody, like, puts you in competition or something like that, like, that, yeah, that's not your person. You know what I mean? So anyways, let's just get, um, yeah, so an emperor, somebody's um, divine masculine, whether that's you, viewer, or this person that hurt you could have been involved. So let's see, what's going on with you, viewer? Who do you have mad love for? What are you gaining clarity on, you know? Let's see. Who does the viewer have mad love for? Ooh. So we have a queen of swords, ace of swords, and the wheel of fortune. Yeah, so definitely a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, but doesn't have to be. It's like you, viewer, you are gaining clarity. Again, this is double confirmation of like truth, clarity, insight, awareness. I just heard a breakthrough, okay? You're having a breakthrough or an awakening on your destiny, your purpose, your, your mission, okay? On who your person is. There's something going on. You're definitely gaining... Um, clarity. So I'm either getting you could be this queen of swords viewer that you're gaining this breakthrough and that's confirming the clarity here. But I also feel like um, I also feel like you're starting to have like a breakthrough that like, yeah, you have love for whoever this queen of swords is. OK, so again, this could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, the same sign as you if you are an air sign as well, but doesn't have to be. If not, then it's just like whoever this queen of swords is that you have mad love for. They're a professional. They're an expert. They're an excellent communicator. OK, um, they're very like. They get to the point, you know what I mean? Like, they don't mess around. They get straight to the point. And exactly, too, with, like, this uh, this crown, they could be very, like, intuitive or there could be something where, like, this person is a truth bringer or they seek out the truth, you know what I mean? Like, they're always seeking out, like, what I'm just getting is, like, I'm getting you have mad love for this person because you know when you come to them or talk to them, like, there's never any bullshit. Like, they're always, or they don't, I just heard, like, they don't sugarcoat it, okay? Like, this person can be very blunt, or they just say, like, they say it how it is, you know what I mean? And I feel like you have respect for that, especially if you have, like, these catfish, these copycat, these fake energies around you. I just heard, like, it's a breath of fresh air, or, like, it's very refreshing to have somebody just be able to say it how it is, or say like it is, okay? And I do feel like, again, with the Wheel of Fortune, like luck, destiny, good fortune is all on your side or good fortune, luck favors, you know, this uh, this love interest of yours. So, wow. OK, I just want to get a little bit more, but let's see. Yeah, Three of Cups. I definitely feel like viewer, you want to reconcile with this Queen of Swords or again, this Queen of Swords wants to reconcile with you. Again, I just feel like there's mad love between you and this person. I feel like there's like reconciliation. Somebody wants to celebrate something or have some sort of celebration together. So let's see. Can I just get a little bit on what this clarity is? Because we got so much clarity, uh, sword energy. This is like the third excuse me, the third confirmation of clarity. So what are you gaining clarity on, viewer? What is this breakthrough, this clarity, this awakening surrounding? I also just want to say somebody could be gaining clarity, though, on, like, again, a, a new hobby, like what their again what some what your destiny what your life purpose or your soul mission maybe you're being guided towards a new hobby or project and again that new hobby that new project is part of your your destiny your purpose your soul mission in this lifetime again you could be gaining clarity on some sort of betrayal deception 
yeah, again, you're getting clarity. This is, wow, yeah, five, yeah, man. Um, so I'm not sure if you put your empress in competition with somebody else or if this empress, you know, flip the roles, put you in competition. But I just feel like it's it's very much becoming clear. Somebody's having a breakthrough or a realization about some sort of competition, jealousy, envy, not seeing eye to eye, okay, whatever it was, like two people were being kept apart. Like, again, there was all these fights, trials, and tribulations that was preventing two people to like a perfect match from being together or coming together. Like, like I said, there was a lot of interferences. So I feel like you are gaining clarity on who your true match, your perfect match is, whether you are the emperor or the empress, okay? Viewer, you are just gaining clarity on that because again, yeah, maybe even now, um, what I'm getting is your divine counterpart could have their own business, okay? They could be very self-sufficient, independent, a business owner, like I said, um, or there's something about them where it's like they know how to stand on their own, okay? Like, yeah, again, you don't just meet, not everybody is an empress, you know what I mean? So it's not very often that you come across an empress energy, and it's like when you do, it's like you either recognize that or you don't. And I feel like in this case, yeah, again, you viewer or whoever this divine counterpart was, they didn't realize that, you know, you didn't realize this was your divine counterpart or this person didn't realize that you were their divine counterpart. And again, there was some sort of interference, competition, something. But yeah, even now, too, you could be gaining clarity on... Um, on some sort of business or like a new hobby or a business venture or something like that, um, that you and this person that you or and or your divine counterpart are supposed to do together. So maybe you're, um, like I said, finding this new hobby that's part of your destiny, or maybe your divine counterpart already found the hobby or project that is part of their destiny and they're trying to make a business out of it. But people may not have seen eye to eye with you, this person, both of you, something like that. But wow, yeah, Ten of Pentacles and the Ten of Cups too, like Ten of Pentacles is wealth, legacy, dynasty, generational wealth. Like I feel like, yeah, either this uh, divine counterpart is on their way to receiving this or you are or both of you like together combined. Again, like it was destined for you guys to do something together in order to create this wealth, this legacy, this happily ever after, you know what I mean? I always see the Ten of Pentacles as both the Ten of Cups and the Ten of Pentacles. So it's like having both love and money, like power couple vibes. Yeah, and that could be the realization, again, the tower moment that somebody's having, again, about their crush or the fact that somebody needs to apologize. So maybe even apologizing or just coming forward is going to allow something to end in order to allow something to transform and take place. Yeah, because again, too, with the Three of Wands, yeah, there's a transformation to allow growth, expansion, communication, okay, different things like that. So yeah, just keep having strength, viewer, you're going to get through this, you're going to figure it out, you're going to have the awakening or receive the clarity that you need. Um, I do hope these messages help to provide you with insight, clarity, awareness, healing, okay, whatever guided you to this reading. Thank you so much again for joining me. I'm going to end it there. And again, Follow wherever there's growth. <laughs> Follow wherever there's growth. So thank you. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.